Now, conversely, if we are given zeros of a quadratic or cubic polynomial, then we can write quadratic polynomial as x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. That is x square minus sum of the zeros into x plus product of zeros. So this will write your polynomial in x without uh, having sum and product only also we can write. Now here I am giving some illustrations. Example 1. Find the zeros of the polynomial and verify relation between zeros and coefficients. So these are the base question on above what I discussed so far. First is 3x square minus 8x plus 5. Second polynomial is x cube minus x. So first we will do first part 3x square minus 8x plus 5. For zeros you have to factorize it. It is a quadratic polynomial. So its factors after uh, factorization x minus 1 into 3x minus 5 are two factors. And for zeros x minus 1 is 0 that is x is 1. And other 0 is x equal to 5 by 3. Now we will denote 1 0 by alpha and other by beta. So alpha is 1 beta is 5 by 3 here. So if we add them, you will get 1 plus 5 upon 3, which is 8 upon 3. But if you will find minus b upon a, b is minus 8, a is 8, 3, sorry. So it is minus of minus 8 upon 3, that is 8 upon 3. And product comes out to be 1 into 5 by 3, that is 5 by 3. Whereas product is c upon a, and c is 5, a is 3, which is also 5 by 3. So hence relation between sum and product of the zeros is verified. So zeros are 1 and 5 and 3 and their sum and product is thus verified here. Now second for cubic polynomial x cube minus x. First for zeros we will factorize and the factors are x into x minus 1 into x plus 1. The process is shown. So zeros are 0, 1 and minus 1. Alpha is 0, beta is 1, gamma is one, minus 1. From zeros of the polynomial, from polynomial A is 1, B is 0, C is minus 1, D is 0. So sum of the zeros here I have shown alpha plus beta plus gamma as 0 plus 1 minus 1 which is 0 and minus B upon A is 0 as B is 0, 0 upon something is 0. So it is verified. And now sum of the products 2 at a time is shown second relation as alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha which is equal to again minus 1 which is c upon a must be equal to and that is of course minus 1 upon 1 which is minus 1 and product of the zeros alpha into beta into gamma 0 into 1 into minus is 0 and that is minus d upon a d is again 0 0 upon 1 that is again 0 so thus third relation is also verified hence this way when you are asked to find zeros and similar questions are in your exercise based on to find zeros and their verification